Hey guys, Ghost Hunter Dan. I'm here live at the Battleground Cemetery with Russ and Sandy Wells. Russ is back here running some uh, thermal. And look at the. Uh... If you guys look here, that's what we see through the thermal, and it is military spec thermal, so it kind of looks like daylight. If you look up, that's what we're seeing. That's what we see through the thermal. Now we'll do some more live video. Uh, there you go. We'll do some more live video um, from Maple Cemetery in Kirkland. But uh, I'll flip you guys around here, show you the battleground in case you haven't been here with us before. Um, hold on one second. Okay, here's the battleground. Sorry I got to shoot up and down. But... Uh, Facebook and YouTube and everybody wants you to shoot up and down now instead of instead of the 16 by 1 so Whatever we'll make it work So we got one live viewer with us uh, If you got any questions for us here at the battleground go ahead and uh, put it in That's what we're seeing right there So that's what it looks like without That's what it looks like with thermal the Headstones over there. Yeah, you can see the headstones Right here, you can kind of see them in the light. Now, what I can do for you guys is I can take the thermal from Ross. I can put it right in front of my phone. And now you guys are seeing thermal. It is a neat app. Now, like here, this is what Russ and Sandy look like on thermal. Come on over. Hey, there's, guys. There's Russ and Sandy on thermal. Hang on. I'm, getting yeah. a lot, I'm feeling a lot of cold spots out here. I'm walking into them. I don't know, we're not seeing anything that I know of. Now over in there, over in there around the monument, right over by where that tree and stuff is, that's where I shot the picture of the of the guy on uh, UV. So I'm going to give Russ the thermal back. It's extremely cool. Hold her from this side, oh, Russ, because there's buttons over there, ah. and it'll screw it up on you. Let's not do that. Now, any of you that are just joining me that don't know Sandy and Russ, Sandy and Russ have abilities, um, so they can sense when things are around us. Me, I'm just a moron, so, you know, I don't, we got two live viewers. Um, but anyway, the battle happened in 1832. These are the names of the people who died here. If you have any questions, just put them in here and I'll answer them best I can, guys. Now, President Lincoln came along the next day and buried these gentlemen here. Now, those gentlemen aren't necessarily buried under those stones over there, but they are somewhere within this hill in a mass grave. And it says, In memory of the Illinois volunteers who fell at Stillman's Run May 14, 1832, in an engagement with Black Hawk and his warriors. It is an outstanding uh, monument. Oh, yeah, this monument is really cool, guys. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way up. There's a soldier on top of it. Uh, this is what makes it really cool. The presence of the soldier statesman martyr Abraham Lincoln assisted in the burial of these honored dead has made this spot more sacred. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln was a young captain in the Illinois militia when the Black Hawk War happened. And uh, he also helped bury the guys up in Pearl City. Now there's a really cool scene from the Black Hawk War that's been etched into the monument right up above that. So, but we're out here, Sandy's saying there's a lot of cold spots. Now, mind you guys, it's September 1st here in Northern Illinois. It's usually about 80 degrees. It's 50 degrees right now. So we can see our breath. So it's pretty chilly. if you see something in front of the camera, could be our breath. Now, the nice thing with the thermal is we can distinguish what's breath and what's not. Mm -hmm. so, so, well, we do have two live viewers. Like I said, guys, if, if any of you guys have a question, just post it and I'll answer it immediately if, if I can. So this is a residential area. It is a park. Not only is it a cemetery, but it is also a park. So it's relatively quiet for this time of year. Very quiet. It's 10 o'clock at night here, about 10 o'clock. Um, and like I said, we are in a residential area. And then Route 72 is right over here, right?
right over where that light's shining in your guys' face. So we'll go over here and uh, I'm going to take a seat on the bench here and point you guys out there. You can hear coyotes yipping in the background. So whoever's joining us live, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I know it's a Friday night. I know it's getting late. This was kind of impromptu. I didn't make a lot of announcements or anything. So, But there's the monument. Beautiful, beautiful monument. And uh, we've talked to people over here that have said that they feel that the battleground is haunted. Um, the water tower is right over there, about a, 70 yards away. And uh, Northern Illinois is on a huge, huge bed of limestone. Hi, Tanya. Uh, what town is this? This is Stillman Valley, Illinois. We're in northern Illinois, about 14 or 15 miles south west of Rockford. Mm -hmm. So Rockford, Illinois, if you know where that is, uh, we're about eh, probably closer to 12 miles southwest. So The only, only hazard that I notice when you're walking with this is that you lose your footing sometimes because you're looking at the screen and, you, and you're and so, not watching where you're going. Yeah, you're, you're transfixed on what's happening. Right. Oh, we got a cat crossing. Hmm? Did you see it? Yeah. Or coyotes too. There it is. Right, right there. Here, guys, we'll show you what it looks like with a cat crossing. It's right there, around the bottom, next to the building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see them. Yeah, you can see him right there. Cat crossing. Hopefully it's not a black cat. Meow. We up to three live viewers, guys. Okay, so right over here, guys, right over there, that's Route 72. That's Illinois Route 72. Uh, oh, my boyfriend is from the area, Mount Morris. Yep, I know right where Mount Morris is, just outside of Oregon, Illinois. Um, Mount Morris is probably about 15, 20 minutes from where I'm at right now, Tanya. So, but we're up to three live viewers. Uh, just to recap, I'm here live with my good friends, Russ and Sandy Wells. Um, Russ, yeah. Russ is getting like really cold on his back. Uh huh. And that's what I was saying. It's not just cold spots, it's like you're walking through. Yeah, it's something. really odd. And it feels different. I don't see much. Uh, no movement through the thermal. No. But it seemed to be, there's Sandy. It seemed to be uh, in this area right here. Yeah. Oddly enough. Well, like I said, guys, a little bit of the history is that, uh, you know, these gentlemen aren't buried under these stones. This was a mass burial because, unfortunately, when Blackhawks Warriors, uh, those, those 12 men held the high ground. And uh, when Blackhawks Warriors overtook them, they mutilated them. Uh, as a matter of fact, President Lincoln said uh, during his days in the Blackhawk War that he'd never seen anything like it. Um, that they couldn't discern one man from the next. So if that gives you guys any idea just how bloody it was here. Uh, thing about Illinois is everybody, when you think of war, you think of Civil War, Revolutionary War, which were, you know, the most critical battles in the United States history. But in Illinois state history, there was in fact a war fought here, and it was the Black Hawk War of 1832. So when people go, oh, Illinois, it has no battlegrounds, mm, yeah, I'm standing in one. Now, Kellogg's Grove is the other big battleground. And uh, when you go around, any of you guys that are cemetery buffs that like cemetery stones, when you go around, 
There's only 24 stones in the state of Illinois that I know that say Blackhawk War. 12 of them are here, and the other 12 are up in Kellogg's Grove. The rest would be in Wisconsin because Blackhawk's forces were finally stopped in the state of Wisconsin, and the federal army basically just massacred them. So, anyhow, uh, Austin, amazing history in our area. Yeah, there is, Austin. Have you ever gone to Silver Creek Cemetery? Uh, you'll have to tell me where that is, Tanya. I I may have. Um, I know there's a Silver Creek golf course between Byron and Oregon. Is it somewhere near there? Hi, Gina. <laughs> Love me some history, yes. Well, we're standing at it right now. Um, you guys can't see the sign here. But that's the sign, and I'll read it to you. Uh, it says, I'll just kind of point the camera there while I read it. Stillman's defeat. Here on May 14, 1832, the first engagement of the Black Hawk War took place when 275 Illinois militia under Major Isaiah Stillman were put into flight by Black Hawk and his warriors. So thoroughly demoralized were the volunteers that a new army had to be called on into the field. And this this monument was erected by the state of Illinois in 1934. So, by Leaf River, okay. Uh, I have not been there, Tanya, but uh, I'll go there. I'll take you there live sometime if you really want me to. Not gonna go there tonight, but uh, anyhow. So, yeah, uh, the other Black Hawk Memorial, like I said, is Kellogg's Grove, and that is in unincorporated Kent. It's actually the address is Pearl City, but it's on Incorporated Kent. Now, the first thing that caused the Black Hawk War, yeah, we're arousing some neighbors, uh, so we're going to get out of here real soon, but uh, the first thing that caused the Black Hawk War happened down by Plano and Sandwich, Illinois, and it was called the Indian Creek Massacre. And you can look all this stuff up, I, and I actually went to that park but I couldn't go in there because the park was closed for the year. So we're going to walk down here onto the sidewalk. And uh, I'll take some video of the, of the uh, monument from the sidewalk. And plus, if they call the police, can't kick me off the sidewalk. So, but you can still see the stones really well. You can still see the monument. Uh, Tanya, we had some orbs when we went out to Silver Creek. Uh, I've seen orbs. Uh, what's important to say for me, guys, is, and I'm not speaking for anybody else, only for Ghost Hunter Dan, I don't ever post orbs as evidence because it could be too many other things. Um, but I'm not saying that it wasn't orbs, Tanya, and I'm not... I'm not at all trying to start any kind of an argument. I'm just saying that I believe that they're possible. I just don't post them as evidence because they could be so many other things. First time you post one, somebody got, somebody goes, oh, that's a bug, that's that's uh, yes. dust, that's this, that's that. You know what? If I wasn't there and I don't know what kind of conditions you were in, I'm not going to armchair quarterback you. You know, what I, you know what I do when it comes to that stuff? I just say, why don't know? It cuts back on the orb situation. Yeah, yeah. So. Because you know, um, light anomalies are natural forming. They do happen. They come out of the ground. Uh, balls of energy. Yeah. Uh, there's orbs well, up there. and the reason that orbs? the reason that you that people say orb is because energy's natural shape is round. round. It's yeah. it's it is an orb. And sometimes you can be looking at dust. You can be looking at you can be looking at a bug, but pollen, a bug, moisture. But there's no doubt in my mind, um, Tanya. We didn't have our camera on, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you probably did catch something out there, Tanya. We're up to four live viewers right now. Just to let you guys know. So, um, but that's why I don't post them because you know how many arguments I've been in about orbs. So I just don't post them. But if you caught something, I'm never going to second guess you guys. Especially if I wasn't there. Now, if I was standing there with you, I, you know, might create an argument then. But anyway, 
So right here, guys, is the end of the battleground. And as you can, you can't really see, but uh, where Russ and Sandy are down there, well, here. This is steps down. God, you guys, I can't really show you because it's not enough light. But uh, it is the high ground. I mean, any of you guys that might be watching or might watch this in the future when you see it come across a page, uh, any military strategy is to hold the high ground. Rush, yep. you were in the Army. Yep. You hold the high ground, right? Absolutely. It gives you the best position to fire yep. up. We're now up to five live viewers. Geez, we have more live viewers on Facebook Live than we ever did on our shows. I was, uh, I was checking your car out. Look at how cool my car looks. And, and you can see the front of the, the engine where the heat shows yeah. up in the back is, uh, like right. is cool. It's, yeah. it's, it's awesome. Yeah. This is a, it's a cool device. You really have to keep in mind where you're walking yeah. and how you're walking because you get transfixed. I've on noticed so with all those different things, guys. And if you look, Russ can switch them. Go ahead and switch your thermals, Russ. The military thermal is probably the best, but you you can look at it a different array of different things. But right, the one that Russ just had, that one's probably the best. Now. There's what you guys can see. There's what you can see on thermal. It's 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 wicked cool. So I'm a big believer in thermal, but just remember if you guys have thermal or you're gonna buy thermal, it's only gonna catch something with a heat signature that's either hot or cold. So if you're catching a spirit that has, you know, it's ambient temperature out here, you may not see anything. Now my brother-in-law and I actually caught a shadow moving. So uh, it definitely had a heat signature of some sort. So, you can definitely... you're welcome, Gina. I want to shout out to my cousin Gina for tuning in. I wish I was coming down to Texas uh, in a couple weeks to see you, but uh, I'll be down there soon. I might be moving down there sooner than I think. Okay, guys, uh, you can kind of see there's a red light over the top of the monument. That is actually the Stillman Valley Water Tower. That's the moon over there. That's there's there's an orb for y'all. Oh no, nope, it's the moon. Sorry. Uh, so right over there, you can't really see. And I don't have a flashlight with me. And because this is residential, guys, I don't want to be shining a flashlight around anyway. But uh, the stones are right there. Uh, maybe if rust comes up, we'll put the thermal on the stones, and I'll show you guys through the thermal. Okay, Russ can see the stones through the thermal, right there. Okay, right there. And right there, guys, is where the stones are, that little line right there. And can't see nothing, but you can through the thermal. The water tower shows up really well. Yeah, here, we'll show you what the, there's the water tower. See how cool it is? It's all black. That's just wild. But there's the water tower, and that's what Russ is looking at. And there's the monument right next to it. Right there. Yep. So there's what the monument looks at at night to us. That's what it looks like through thermal. So lots of ghost hunting here in the south. Would love to go with you. I would love for you to take me ghost hunting down in Texas. So by the way, uh, Gina, our prayers are going out to everybody in Texas. I know it's not affecting you guys directly where you're at, but everybody in Houston, uh, we're all saying prayers for all you folks. So stay safe down there. So anyway, guys, um, we're down to three live viewers. We were up to five at one point. Um, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. We're going we're gonna to head to a couple of uh, other places, and then we're going to go live again when we get to Maple Cemetery back in my hometown of Kirkland. Um, always get good stuff at Maple Cemetery. We're going to pull out the whole gambit, and we're going to actually do a... We're going to do an investigation, because the last time I was there, um, Larry and I saw a shadow figure sitting in a tree looking at us, so... We're gonna, sorry about the traffic coming through. Stillman Valley just got out of a football game, so a lot of people are traveling through on Route 72 right here. Right here's the road, guys. I mean, I'm up here. There's the road right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, 20 feet and whoop, there it is. So, um, and plus I can be at this Maple Cemetery in Kirkland and it's there's residents around there, but where we go, 
nobody can hear us talking and I, I have a loud mouth. So if you guys give us about a half hour, I'm going to go back live on the Ghost Hunter Day. I'm going to try it on my YouTube channel first. I'll shoot about three minutes of video on YouTube. Then I'm going to go back to Facebook Live. And then I'll stay with you guys just as long as I did when my brother-in-law and I were out there. You're going to hear Russ and Sandy do a live uh, EVP session there. Sure. So that you guys can hear how they do it. You guys catching something? I don't know what it is. Let's take a look here. What All is right. that right there? I think it's All just right. a break in Sandy's the Sandy's got... Okay, there's some sort of a light there. A light anomaly. Um... It's I not think, moving. But... I think it's breaks in the trees. Sandy. Yeah, because if you pan up, yeah, and yeah, look at the see sky, it really yeah. lights up. Yep, that's what it is. It's breaks in the leaves. Yeah. Okay. Darn. So, Darn. That would have been cool though. Yeah. Now, guys, just to let you know, and I wasn't taping, and unfortunately, the only way you guys I can get a uh, video of the thermal is if I go like this, because this phone that I've got the thermal set up through doesn't record it anymore because it's it's a dead phone mm -hmm. um but i can still use it as a thermal imager i just can't record off of it but i can record off of it like this so last last week or three weeks ago when i was out with my brother-in-law no. we caught a shadow walking right across i shined the light into the cemetery and nobody was there but you could clearly see a shadow of a person walk across that's awesome that's, awesome. that's, that's too cool so if my brother-in-law Brad sees this video, you want to comment on it, Brad, or whatever, uh, let him know. Yeah, we both saw it. I just, my phone died and I couldn't tape it, guys. And my camera was in the truck like it is now, you know, great place for it. But, uh, you know, as long as we have the phone and we have YouTube and Facebook, we're still recording it. So, anyhow. That's the way it works. Yep. Most of the time, you, you, your activity happens oh, when yeah. you don't have your equipment. Oh, yeah. So... All right, guys, well, give us about a half hour, and we'll make our way back to Kirkland, and uh, we'll go from there. So this is Ghost Hunter Dan Norvell. I'm here with Russ and Sandy. I don't know if you guys can see them. See, hey. Russ? Yeah, we can see your silhouettes. <laughs> and we will see you guys in about a half hour. Yeah, I'm a blast. Thanks for watching, and we hope you come back.